Hello everybody, Paxton with my Doma Studio here, and today we are talking about how to streamline your workflow by filtering for untagged items and then using the bulk tag option in your project's products and services list. As a busy designer, you understand the importance of staying organized and efficient. In this video, we're going to talk about two great features in my Doma that can help you stay organized and work more efficiently, filtering untagged items and bulk tagging. First, let's discuss why these features are so helpful. Picture this, you've got a long list of products and services, and some of them don't have any tags. It can be a real pain to sort through them all manually, right? That's where filtering comes in. By filtering your list to show only untagged items, you can quickly see which one need your attention. And once you've found those untagged items, bulk tagging is your new best friend. Instead of individually tagging each item, which can be a time sink, you can tag multiple items at once with just a few clicks. Go to your products and services list in your project. If the filter side sheet isn't already open, look for the filter icon at the top and click it. In the tag section, click the checkbox beside none. Voila, only your untagged items. Now that you've got your untagged items in front of you, it's time to choose which ones you want to tag. To make it faster and easier to scroll through everything, I recommend switching from card to table display. To do that, click on the display type drop down and then select table. Next, we're going to choose the products and services that you'd like to tag. If you want to tag them all, just click the handy checkbox at the top of the list. If you only want to tag some of them, just click the checkboxes next to the individual items you need. Once you've selected all the items you'd like to tag, click the Edit Tags button in the top right-hand corner. Either scroll or type in and select the tags you want those items to have. Before you hit save, take a quick moment to make sure the tags are looking good. Once you're happy with them, go ahead and click to apply those tags to all the selected items. After the bulk tagging is done, head back to your item list and uncheck the tag is none filter. Take a look at your newly tagged items and make sure everything looks the way you want. If you need to make any changes, you can always tweak individual tags or do another round of bulk tagging. Bonus tip, creating a tagging strategy. Want to take your filtering and bulk tagging skills to the next level? Develop a consistent tagging strategy that works for you and your team. Start by coming up with a set of standard tags that makes sense for your workflow and organizational needs. Then establish some guidelines for when and how to apply these tags consistently. You can also create a no tags view that it only has the tag is none filter set to it to make it even easier to catch products and services that don't have a tag. Don't forget, you're collaborating with others. Make sure everyone's on the same page by providing training or documentation on your tagging strategy. That's it for today. Filtering untagged items and bulk tagging in my Doma is a total game changer for streamlining your workflow. Give it a try and see how much easier it makes your life. Thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, happy designing.